can Sarah Price, Mark Foster and Ian Edmund hit gold? Commonwealth Games Swimming Finals, tomorrow from 6.55 on BBC Two and BBC Radio 5 Live. world's greatest performers, the country's biggest festival audience. Enjoy everything coming together to create one of those perfect moments in time. The BBC proms every night this week at 7.30 on BBC4, BBC I and BBC Radio 3. If you know where you are, Land! Oh! can you still feel lost? This whole section here is distorted. Captain Cook's voyage, the ship, a 21st century crew on an 18th century adventure. Coming soon to BBC Two. This is BBC One Southwest. Time now for the BBC News at 10 o'clock. Presented by Michael Burke with Sasha Herriman. Channel shoppers have won a landmark court case over tobacco and alcohol. Customs officers will no longer be able to stop and search vehicles at random. Seven dead after a bomb attack on a university campus in Jerusalem. Two months rainfall in a day. Floods bring chaos across the country. And one hasn't forgotten one's shoes. It's the Queen's first visit to a British mosque. Here in the southwest, the father who used his baby son as a punch bag is jailed for five years for manslaughter. And more Southwest medals at the Commonwealth Games in Manchester. Good evening. The High Court has come out in favour of millions of people who cross the Channel to buy cheaper drink and cigarettes. It's ruled that customs were wrong to seize a large quantity of tobacco from a group of day trippers and confiscate their car. It's a landmark ruling, which will mean customs officers will no longer be able to stop vehicles at random. Officials say it'll make it more difficult to establish that the goods are being bought in for personal use, which is legal, or for resale, which is not. A Calais supermarket this afternoon, and holidaymakers are stocking up before heading for the port. But they may now face less rigorous inspection by customs officers at home, after a court ruled... They